Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to take a look at the Mix 3 assortment of 164 scale Spin Master Monster Jam trucks. Well, welcome back everyone. I just reviewed the Mix 4 assortment for the Spin Master Monster Jam 164 scale line. Uh, and you guys might have seen that video. That includes some of these new trucks like Big Kahuna, the Monster Mutt, and uh, I don't know, Alien Invasion. We have a couple others like the Crustacean tooling. So if you guys want to see that video, it does feature a lot of stuff that will not be shown in this video. But uh, you can see we got the Overcast Gravedigger, which I will show in this video because there is an Overcast truck, uh, the Megalodon, in this video. But some of these trucks will not be reviewed in this video. So if you guys want to check out the newest assortment of trucks, that Mix 4 video has already been uploaded. And I will tag it at the end of this video. So check that out. It's a great case, really, really solid case. And it is coming out in May. These trucks have already hit target shelves across the United States. And um, these are actually a month early. These are supposed to come out in April, but targets order differently and they sometimes stock the shelves when they're not supposed to. But uh, I did get these from Spin Master directly and I will be reviewing them today. So here's what the assortment looks like. Besides Avenger, we have Gravedigger Chrome, the Dragon, Megalodon, Overcast, Brodozer, Zombie, Earthshaker, and the Training Trucks El Toro Loco Chase Piece, which I will show you guys in this video. I did review the other Chase Piece, Megalodon, in my previous video as well. So that link again will be at the end of this video. So that's pretty cool. You'll see it again in this video as well. And of course it also includes Avenger. But we're not gonna start with these ones. We're gonna start with a couple other ones. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with my least favorite of the case, although it's pretty interesting. This is the Dragon. And people are calling this the Truck and Pals Dragon because it looks very similar to the Truck and Pals render of Dragon. It has a yellow roll cage. So it's very similar to how the Truck and Pals one looks. But we're gonna take a look at this up close. This is the Crazy Creatures Dragon for 2019 Spin Master. All right, so here it is. There's the dragon, and here is the figure. It is a red figure. Um, it is a male figure, so there's that, and here's the poster. Now, I have reviewed the Mix 4 poster, which has Mix 5 on it. Previously, you can see Bakugan, Dragonoid, all these trucks in there. So we're basically gonna go step back and go to the Mix 3 poster, which has the Mix 4 reveal, which we've already reviewed, but I do wanna show the back off. So the back of the poster has Zombie, so that's pretty cool. And then here's the Mix 4 poster or Mix 3 poster with the Mix 4 reveal. So you can see all the trucks from Mix 4 on the bottom. But we are already uh, one step ahead of that, so I'm not gonna look at that too much. But here's the Dragon, and here's the Double Packs one to compare from earlier this year, Mix 1 Double Packs against the Purple Jester. Uh, I, I gotta go with this color, this scheme. This looks much better in my personal opinion. It looks much more accurate. Um, I kind of get what they were going for here, kind of odd colors, but um, I don't know if the chrome rims work so well with the yellow road cage, maybe a black chassis or a gray chassis with, I don't know, maybe um, I go with maybe gray rims here and then maybe the yellow would work. I'm not sure if the yellow works. That's probably what's really throwing me off here. Maybe a darker yellow. But um, you can see here, this is the yellow roll cage, chrome chassis, chrome rimmed dragon. And comparing it, not much of a difference, but uh, interesting base color. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's pretty cool, but um, not my favorite of the case. Still kind of interesting though. So there's the dragon, nothing new about the decals or anything. So pretty cool. And next up is the zombie. Now we have reviewed zombie before. I have gotten both playset editions, the blue rims and the green rims, my personal favorite one, the green rimmed one. Uh, and now we have the chrome rims from the singles pack. Uh, originally, I believe the poster showed it was supposed to be the gray rims, but I guess they changed it to chrome. So we're gonna open this up and see what it looks like. All right, here is the zombie with the chrome rims. It comes with a purple figure. I guess that's a kind of a, a little throwback to the skeleton zombie with the purple eyes. So that's pretty cool, a little purple figure. Uh, and there's the box and here it is, the zombie. So uh, pretty cool. It's got the arms, of course, on the Spin Master ones. And uh, of course, a Mattel one to compare. Um, pretty interesting, uh, the differences between the two. And uh, of course, the arms and the ear on there. So uh, pretty cool to see them compared every time I do this. So there they are. And here it is compared to the other ones. You got the uh, zombie with the play set, the green rims. And you got the blue rims as well, same thing, um, same stuff, except the blue rimmed one actually had a clear uh, ear on the side and they actually started painting the ear in on the newer ones. So this one also has a painted in ear. You can see it's a little bright on that side. Um, the one thing that's different about these zombies, and I'm not sure why they took a step backwards, is they removed the texture on the chin. So the blood has been removed from the chin. I'm not sure if that's a good change. Uh, maybe that's just something they 
overlooked during production and they might add back, but um, the chin texture has been removed, which is kind of odd, but maybe they'll bring it back. So there's the chrome rims, um, really stands out on this one. I would have preferred maybe purple rims actually to match the figure or red rims, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the chrome also looked the best, but it does remind me of the Mattel one. Although it doesn't look that bad. Chrome rims kind of blends in with this truck because of a lot of gray tones to it. So there's the zombie with the arms. These arms, of course, are movable and um, they do function, which is pretty cool. And you can see there a lot of different um, movements you could do with the arms. So that's the singles pack zombie finally getting out to the public. A lot of people were looking for the singles pack instead of the playset. So this is the chance to get it. Um, and this is awesome. So that's the mixed three assortment zombie. And next up, a very popular truck, the Brodos are finally getting a singles release as well as Zombie, and people are really happy with this one. Uh, there is one minor thing that I want to talk about, and they actually did add a couple things that I do like about this. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here it is. The Brodos are the first ever Monster Jam diesel powered truck to do a consecutive backflip and a mini backflip. So pretty cool little trivia there. We have Diesel Dave, Heavy D, and of course, Colt Stevens right here represented by this figure. And here it is, the Brodozer. These packages get a lot of stuff on my studio, uh, but there it is, the Brodozer. So we have seen Brodozer before in the double pack with Gas Monkey Garage earlier this year. They did add one detail that's great about this truck, and that is they printed on the roof finally. So the roof is no longer a yellow, uh, area. It actually is black in the real truck, so it's very nice that they added that. The one thing they went backwards on is they printed in the wrong uh, hood logo, actually. They reversed the colors, so now uh, instead of being yellow, it's black, and instead of being black, it's yellow. So that's what the reverse means. And of course, they printed the white inside of the DP, uh, diesel power. So, um, you know, I, I think they should make in the future, and I'm sure they will do this, they should make this decal with the roof decal, and then it would be 100% perfect. Um, but they did mess up that one. I, I It might have been overlooked again uh, during this production, but Brodozer, I think it looks amazing either way. And of course it does have the yellow painted in beadlock. So this is our first beadlock painting for the public releases. The exclusive employee one did receive beadlock printing. And also in this case, and you'll see it later, there's a grave digger with beadlock printing as well. So we got yellow beadlocks with a black rim, a yellow chassis, which is unique, so that's pretty cool, yellow chassis for the first time, and a black roll cage to complement that. And of course, there's the side, so Brodos are on the side panels, the front roll bars, um, here's the other side, and of course the same tailgate, uh, and here is the roof, again, the painted in black roof, comparing to this one. So I like them. Again, I just wish this hood was on this truck and then it would be 100% perfect. So almost there, but I'm very happy with how the Brodozer looks and I'm sure people are very excited to get it in the singles if you didn't get in the doubles earlier this year or if you just want both. So there's the Brodozer. And next up is a unique truck. I actually mentioned this in my previous video with the Mix 4 assortment Overcast Gravedigger. This is the Overcast Megalodon. So we're gonna open this up and take a look. So here it is, the Megalodon Overcast series. And here's the figure, black and white, uh, gray figure right here with a steering wheel. And there's the logo. So basically, and I explained this in my previous video, this Overcast series is basically just black and white trucks with colored in highlights. That could range from logos to different color highlights like this one had. So you can see the highlights of the graveyard and of course the flames on the Gravedigger. So this one did not have colored in logos, but rather, again, the highlights. So this one, the truck before this one actually, had the colored in logo with a uh, blue eye. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and um, you can see the Megalodon logo and the entire truck looks like a great white shark, which is awesome because um, the original Megalodon does not look like a great white shark, it just looks like a regular kind of cartoon shark. So this one's pretty cool to see in um, full gray. It really looks menacing. And of course it has the teeth, the gray fin, and compared to the regular Megalodon, it looks really menacing. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. And also the Grave Digger. This entire Overcast series has been amazing so far. And I can't wait to see what the uh, Dragon looks like in the final product. And of course, Blue Thunder, which we're seeing on the Mix 5 poster. Next up is the Grave Digger I mentioned earlier. This is the Chrome Grave Digger. And I do have uh, a couple Mattel ones to compare. So we got the Mattel Grave Digger here and also the standard Grave Digger from this year uh, right here for Spin Master. So here we go, the Grave Digger. And of course, this is based off the World Finals 18 Encore for the 35th anniversary of Gravedigger. Um, and you see here it comes with a purple figure to match the graveyard scene, the ghost. So that's pretty cool. Another purple figure in this mix, two of them now, Zombie and Gravedigger. 
And here we go. This is an amazing looking piece. So basically this is another truck with the beadlock printing. This is the second Gravedigger to ever have beadlock printing. Of course, the employee exclusive had the same color beadlocks and it does have gray rims inside there. And there it is, the Zamac, which means bare metal body for this truck. Super, super cool. And here's the Spin Master standard one to compare it to. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. This is the earlier one without the triangle, but that one does have it. And there's the roof. Super, super nice. I do like how all this detail pops off the chrome. And I also liked when they did it with the Mattel one. So there's the Mattel one to compare. Of course, this is not the one with the four-time championship logo because that's been removed. So here it is, the Chrome Grave Digger. Uh, I do have to say they did a nice job with the, the rims. So there it is, there's the Mattel one. But this is super cool, and I'm very happy with the beadlock printing. I know a lot of collectors are, and customizers. So that is the Gravedigger Chrome. And next up, the Avenger. So this is based off the 20th anniversary body that they ran before the 20th anniversary pickup truck at World Finals 18. So Mattel never actually got around to making this one. Spin Master did go back in time and make it. So we're gonna open it up right now. Sorry about that, I actually knocked down my camera so I didn't get the unboxing on there. But uh, here it is, the Jim Kohler Avenger figure in lime green, right there. And here it is, the Avenger. So the, again, like I said, this is the 20th anniversary pickup truck body edition. And the only one I really have to compare to it is the World Finals 18 edition from Mattel right here. So this is the World Finals 18 body. Both of them do not have the window printing. And I actually don't think it was on this one, but it should be on this one, uh, the 20th anniversary logo. I guess they couldn't fit it. So I, I get the point that they didn't add it because it doesn't fit, but um, in reality, it should have it on the window. But again, the tooling that they have does not fit a little window like this. So uh, no extended cab just yet, but this is the um, same year. So these both were running the same year in real life Monster Jam. This came before this at World Finals 18. This was the standard body for the season. So again, like I said, it's very nice to see this come back and actually be made. So they actually went back and looked really closely at old Avenger bodies. So here it is, the 20th anniversary, and uh, it does have the logos, the sponsors. They have Lucas Oil on there, uh, Cohen, and the Monster Jam logo, of course, the Avenger uh, skull with the airbrushing detail, the Avenger logo uh, painted in window, the flames on the side. It does have grill printing right there with the headlights, the skull on the hood, and there is the roof with the LucasArts products logo with the flames again. And there's the LucasArts logo on the tailgate. And of course the nice lime green paint job, beautiful color match to the real truck. So really good job with that one. The one thing I would have liked to see with this Avenger, and I actually noticed they have it on this Avenger. Let me get the little picture here. Uh, this Avenger here from the Mix 5 assortment has the Nomad Avenger. Uh, you can see the silver roll cage, and actually all Avengers have silver roll cages, so it would have been nice to see a silver roll cage on this Avenger, and also I would have preferred them to do this on here with the uh, green beadlocks uh, and the gray rims, so that would have been awesome. I might do a body swap and see what it looks like in the future, but um, the Avenger, I think it looks amazing for what it is though, and I'm sure a lot of Team Scream fans are really excited to finally see this thing come out, and hopefully they'll do some more Team Scream trucks in the future. So that's the Avenger 20th anniversary pickup truck body. And almost the last one, second to last, it is one of my favorite trucks in the entire circuit. It used to be my YouTube intro until it became copyrighted, the Earthshaker. And this thing has received a lot of detail. So here we go, I cannot wait. All right, the Shake It Loose Earthshaker. And we do have a Tristan England figure or Stephen Thompson uh, right here. So that's pretty cool. And now we have the comparison between the Mattel one and the Spin Master one. At a first glance, they look pretty similar, but once we start digging deep and looking at all the details they actually added onto this truck, you'll see a lot of differences. So with the Mattel one, uh, you'll first notice they do have a plastic bed. And this entire piece right here from this disconnect is all plastic. Originally, I thought this was entirely plastic too, until I realized how heavy it was. This is a full die cast metal casting, except for the dirt and the plastic bed. But this entire piece here is metal, one solid piece. And Spin Master also went ahead and looked at the original render of Earthshaker and of course the real truck. And they added this little crossbar and you can see through Mattel's, you don't see a crossbar here, but they added this little bar that separates right here. Let me get a complaint card so you can see. Uh, hopefully you can see that uh, right here, there's a bar. So they added that second window bar, which is part of the real truck. And I'm very happy they paid attention to that small detail. And also a lot more of the construction tape style, um, you know, warning symbol here, uh, tape. And you got the hood, a lot of similarities between the decals here for the hood and the front. You see 
a little brighter dirt on the Spin Master one. But the big thing I like about Spin Master is that they actually got the body gap here. This is a real part of the truck and I was really disappointed with Mattel adding this little extra lip here to kind of cover that up. This is how it should look and I'm very happy they went ahead and took that risk by adding that uh, little gap. And also here's the uh, bar of course, all in 3D, all of this is nice 3D. And uh, metal of course, this is solid metal unlike the plastic. And Spin Master actually printed on the back here so all this construction tape was not featured on the Mattel one. And also, uh, with with the exception of the dirt, which people, I, I get it, the dirt's there and it's kind of weird, but uh, like the Monster Mutt ears and the Mohawk Warrior hair, I'm not sure if that's a one-year thing. Maybe they'll put a normal black bed in here because this is a plastic insert. They can make different molds of it. So that'd be pretty cool to see a normal one in the future. But I do like the dirt. It gives it a lot of character. And also, as I was mentioning, this entire bed is metal besides this plastic insert. As you can see, it is inserted right there, the, the dirt. So that's pretty cool, the dirt in the earth shaker. And also they did add the tailgate printing, which was something that Mattel did not do. You can see there. The one thing Mattel did do is add a full tailgate. They did cut this down, uh, which reminds me of, which we just looked at, the Dragon tailgate. Uh, this is supposed to wrap all the way down. They did cut that off. Uh, it might be for expense reasons, I'm not sure, but um, you can see that it does stop right here where it should connect. But they did print the important part, which is the dirt that says monsterjam.com. So I'm very happy that they actually went ahead and printed there. Um, I'll, I'll give it a break because it is a solid metal casting. It's not plastic like this one was. It's much harder to produce and it's a little more expensive, obviously. So uh, for what it is, I mean, come on, this is a beautiful, beautiful truck and probably one of the top trucks of the year for me. I love the black rims. I like that they kept them and I believe it will have yellow rims in the future in a double pack. So that is the Earthshaker. And now we're up to the final truck. Let's take a look at the training trucks, El Toro Loco. All right, here it is, the chase piece for Mix 3. This is the first chase piece of the year, El Toro Loco, and I do have its normal counterpart to compare it to, and I cannot wait. Let's open it up, number one of six. All right, so here it is, the Training Trucks El Toro Loco. Like I said, these are chase pieces, which if you don't know what that means, these are basically limited in their amounts of production, and they're harder to find than normal trucks. So if you guys see any of these training trucks with this small cab and BKT printing, you have found a very special piece, and I would recommend picking it up. It is very similar to the Golden Machines and the Blackouts by Hot Wheels, which were also limited production and not very common. So if you guys are looking for chase pieces, this is what the chase pieces are for this year. And also, I do have the Megalodon one from Mix 4 to compare it to. Uh, and also again, El Toro Loco. So let's get the figure off here. This is the nice orange figure. And uh, Megalodon did come with a translucent blue. Uh, they did not do translucent orange, but um, again, this is a very nice translucent blue. And here it is, the El Toro Loco training truck. So uh, let's zoom in, take a quick look at the detail. So basically what the training trucks are supposed to be are Monster Jam University vehicles, also qualifying trucks kind of combined. So basically just a cab that someone would train in. So not a full body because you wouldn't want to damage that during training, but rather a cab that can kind of take up a beating and it's not super detailed. So, you know, they can train. That's actually a pretty good idea for real life Monster Jam for Monster Jam University. So maybe they could take some notes off this design. So here it is, the El Toro Loco. You got the flames from the side panel right there and also the logo, a yellow stripe, some diamond plating with some scratches on it. Of course, this entire truck is meant to look beat up. There's lots of little scratches and dents on there. Monster Jam logo. The hood has some scratches as well with some flames. And there's the other side with some scratches, diamond plating, and this side as well. And of course, the roof looks like a metal panel that has been dented. This is all 3D detail. There's lots of 3D bumps on the sides of these things. And also it does feature white BKT printing on a black tire with black rims. Also, the train trucks are metal based because these are plastic cabs. So they are very heavy and very loud when you drop them uh, compared to the plastic bases that we normally see. So train trucks will have metal bases, which might be interesting to see what people can do with their customs uh, with the metal bases. And here's the two compared. Uh, Megalodon does have the white tires with black BKTs and chrome rims. Uh, I think a lot of different trucks will have different styles. So I think the next chase piece, which is set to be Grave Digger, has, yeah, the black tires with the white BKTs again. I'm not sure if we'll see any more colored tires for the chase pieces, but I think it does add a little more character as a chase piece. But I do like the white BKTs because that, of course, is a specialty only on chase pieces this year. 
So there it is, the Chase Piece Elter Loco with the Chase Piece Megalodon. And that will conclude Mix 3's review. I'm very happy with everything in this mix. I think everything looks great, especially Earthshaker, one of my favorites of the entire case here. And um, you know what? I, I'm very happy and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And before I sign out, I do want to thank Spin Master for sending me these. Thank you so much for, of course, giving me the opportunity to review early. Uh, I did review Mix 4 early. These kind of came out, but again, I'm still a little early to the party. So thank you, Spin Master, all the people there. Of course, the marketing team and design. I'll see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Jam OCD signing out.